Now, we continue to celebrate Black History Month with a look at the impact that historically black colleges and universities have on our communities and our Fox 5 family. In the third part of our series, Wisdom <laughs> shares his journey at the Jackson State University. All right, the I love. Hail, hail to the college of my heart. Well, you know, this school, uh, like, like Hampton to yeah. you, has special meaning to me. It has a big impact on my life. For example, I wouldn't even be in this business mm -hmm. if it wasn't for one day in the classroom. My classmate, Deanna Sheffield, told yeah. me about a job. This was 30 years ago right. at a TV station in Jackson, Mississippi, behind the scenes. I went to that interview based on something she had said to That's the right. news director and got that job. Yes. So that just shows you what kind of uh, place this is, what kind of relationships we build at school, and how Jackson State University impacted my life. The bar was always high with my parents, again, because they were educators, teachers, and, and really smart people. From the time I was a child, it was pretty much ingrained in me that you're gonna go to Jackson State because my father went to Jackson State, my mother went to Jackson State, my father's brother went to Jackson State, my mother's two sisters went to Jackson State, my brother went to Jackson State, my grandmother went to Jackson State, my grandmother's sister went to Jackson State, my cousins went to Jackson State. You're going to Jackson State because we love Jackson State and you're gonna love Jackson State too. When I set my foot on that campus, I love Jackson State, and to this day, I still love Jackson State. I'm the Kenley Alexander, Wisdom Martin is my son-in-law, and I'm a retired professor at Jackson State University, where I now teach as an adjunct. What we had was a school system that was poorly supported by the state, but we had dedicated faculty and administrators who were taking almost no money and running a quality school because the people coming back were dedicated to empowering those who had been left behind. We went there with a sense of belonging and we were provided with the information and experiences that grew our confidence and our ability to believe in ourselves. When they had the shooting in 1970, my dad was on campus and my mom was in the girls' dorm when they had the shot. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe she was pregnant with me. My mother would always tell me that racism, sexism, any kind of ism that there is, any kind of problem anybody has with you, let that be their problem. But your goal and your job is to succeed. I got my first job in television when I was a sophomore at Jackson State. I broke my hand playing basketball, took the cast off, just so I could shake this news director's hand in pain so I could get that job. I was determined that I was going to work in this field and I, that's how bad I wanted it. A couple of my teachers at Jackson State would always talk to me about being competitive and working hard. That's what they were, they were focused on because you guys deal with you know work schedules and, and money might not be as great and the people aren't gonna be necessarily nice to you. But if you want it bad enough and you're willing to work for it, anything can be attained. Expectation is the number one element in success and HBCUs have high expectations for the students when they come in. They say we take them where they are and we create what we want them to become. They prepared me for everything that I've gone through in life and everything that I will possibly go through in life. can't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't I do it. Do it. Cause it. You, might not, you might actually get a tear out of me I today. You might get, do it. but you know what that, but the experience is unbelievable. I met my wife. She wasn't my wife at the time. She yeah. was a, a summer school student. I met her at the cafeteria at Jackson state. That was like 30 something years ago. And then a year, decades later, I got engaged to her at that same cafeteria. At Jackson State. It, it's, it's an amazing place. And I don't think people really understand the value of these these uh, historically black institutions and what they really bring, bring to the table. The reason they were created and to the relevance that they, they have today. It's right. it's it's remarkable. I got so many stories oh about and so many friends, so many professors that I'm still in contact right. with. It's it's an unbelievable place. In, in a, a society experience. where you are often marginalized yeah. to be empowered mm -hmm. and in the majority. Right. Maybe for one time. Right. And, and to be told that <laughs> you're more right. you can't ever really. Put right. it and to be work. told that you're not less than because of your skin color right. and because of your your conditions. Right. You are you are just as good as everybody else. Just work hard. That's right. Just work hard.